In this video, I will provide you with another way to make an octagon shape for maybe a building foundation. And ours is going to be six foot wide. So the first thing you're going to do will be to draw a line from one point to another point. And you might have to do this with a couple of sheets of plywood, or at the very least, one sheet of plywood. And then you're just simply going to take a speed square and come 22 and a half degrees off of it from one of those lines. Now you only need to do this once. And you can see here where we're about 22 and a half degrees. And you're just simply coming off of one of these lines. Like I said, you just need to do this once because once you have one line, you're going to be able to measure from the corner. And if you have a square formed foundation, then you're just simply going to measure each one of the distances in both directions from each one of the corners. And even though I put this grid in here to get the measurement that's going to go from here to here. Now you don't need to put this grid in here just like you didn't need the other grid, but I wanted to put it in because sometimes looking at a shape like this, makes it a little easier to understand what you're doing. And then we're just simply going to connect each one of these points here with a line. And I would do one section first. I would do this section and this section so that I could check this measurement and this measurement to make sure that they're the same. If not, you might need to make some adjustments. And if your measurements are the same on each one of these, then you would have laid out a perfect octagon. And next up, let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of different methods and provide you with a little more information about laying out an octagon foundation for a gazebo or an eight-sided building. And uh, I searched the internet looking for a simple method and I have found it. I actually came across a lot of videos that were weren't providing you with good information and of course these weren't uh, videos they were people doing all sorts of uh, crazy math so i found one and it is simple so let's go ahead and get started you are going to start with a square i would recommend doing this if you want you can uh, um, do it a different way but this is the way i would do it start with a square now we are going to start with a square that is going to be 12 foot 3 inches or 147 inches square so that means all the way each side is going to be 12 foot 3 inches or 140 seven inches and the reason why i picked an odd number like this a lot of times if i pick an even number like 10 foot by 10 foot or 12 foot by 12 foot the math doesn't seem to be as uh, it's like it's rounded off it's a little bit easier to do and uh, so anyway that was my reasoning for doing that so here is the number that you are looking for and i know this it's just too simple but we're going to multiply this number times the length of the side of one of these uh, of the square. And that, that, of course, is 140 inches. Now I'm going to, at the end of the video, for those of you who understand math, you get this fine. You can stop watching the video. At the end of the video, I will grab a calculator and walk you through how I did this and how you can do it. So for those of you who tell me that my videos you're they're too long we can't why do they got to be so long well you can stop watching it at, at that point and of course it's probably it doesn't make any sense in the length of time i just uh made that statement was probably another 30 seconds i added on to the video so i better make it up here so here's our number 147 inches is the length of the side, 12 foot 3. I'm going to convert it to inches. I would recommend you do that also. If you have a measurement that's 5 foot 4 inches, convert it into inches. That would be 64 inches. Use that. Don't go with the feet. Don't uh, beat yourself up over that. So convert it to inches. And this works on the, with the metric system also. Uh, centimeters, uh, millimeters, uh, whatever you are going to be using. Uh, multiply the length of the side by... 4.41421 that gives us 60.88 60.88 is 60 and 7 eighths of an inch that is going to be the length of our side it is that simple and you know I actually 
tried a couple of methods and um, actually made a few of these uh, video uh, examples and uh, they were off they were off by a quarter of an inch a half of an inch and I was like okay I'll look for a better method so now we're going to take 60.88 and we're going to subtract it from the length and then divide that number by two and the reason for that is so that we can figure out where we can make a mark so that we can put our 60.88 in the right spot but you could actually just go to the center if you wanted to go to the center of um, the length and simply center this measurement in there so that would also work but here's here's what i did divided the um, number by two um, 147 subtracted from or 60.88 subtracted from 147 equals 86.11 i'm going to divide that by two so that's going to give me two side measurements here and that comes to 43.05. That's close enough to 43 and a sixteenth of an inch. Next up, you will simply take the 43 and a sixteenth of an inch and measure it. Remember, you're measuring from the inside to the mark. And you're going to simply mark it at every corner. Come off of each corner and mark it. And then, and then we will take and put our board in there. So 3 foot 7 and a sixteenth or 43 and a sixteenth of an inch and remember you're going from the inside a lot of times when you're working with something like this you're going to have a tendency to hook over one of the sides so always double check your measurements and then of course this is a 45 degree angle you can cut the board 5 foot and 15 sixteenths remember that's what we had 60.88 so it's close enough to this. Put a 45 degree angle on it and then attach it to the sideboards here. And then simply do that at every corner. So I hope this makes sense. We started with a square. And your square has got to be square, by the way. If it's off a little bit, it's going to mess up these measurements also. And then when you go to build your um, building or your gazebo, whatever it's going to be, you're going to find out that you have problems with those measurements also. So this has got to be a 90 degree angle at each one of these corners. Five foot and seven eighths on the inside. So we now have eight equal sides, which is what we were looking for. Some of the formulas I used before just didn't work out. And of course, you can use the form boards, the sides, to dig your footings. So this thing would be ready. Put some rebar in it, and you would be ready to pour and get started on your project. Now, that's it for this. I'm going to go ahead and um, grab a calculator and start doing the math here. Okay, let's get out our trusty computer calculator. Remember, this is our magic number that's going to make everything easy. The, and this is the length of one side of the square that we are going to be using. 147 inches or 12 foot 3 inches. And then, of course, we're just going to simply multiply it by our magic number. 147, 147 times 0.41421. 41421 equals 60.88. We can always round that off to 60.89. So 60.88, 60.89 is going to be our the length of the side of each octagon. So that's 60 and 7 eighths of an inch. If we convert 0.88 to a fraction, we're going to get close enough to 7 eighths of an inch. If you're really meticulous, you can take it into 16ths or even 30 seconds of an inches. So we are then going to, now remember, we can center this number, which would be about 30 and 3 eighths basically on each side of the center of the 147 inches. So that would work. But to follow along what we did in our example, we're going to need to subtract the uh, number we're going to use here, 60.88. If we subtract it from 147, then we will get 86 and 11. So let me clear this. And then I will put in 147 inches, the length of the side of our square. And we are going to subtract 60.8888. 
and that will equal 86 and 86.11. So 86.11 is going to be the length of the board after we have subtracted the length of the side of our octagon. Now we're going to divide that by 2. Divided by, where's our divided by 2 equals 43.05, 43.85 or 43 and a 16th of an inch. Simply take these numbers, what I did, go back and watch how I walked you through the video and it should make sense what uh, each one of these steps here. So the only difference, like I said, is you can skip this last part and simply center this number, center the side in the length of your square to make everything work out or, or go through these steps here to, to double check everything. And thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, let us know by hitting the thumbs up button or letting us know in the comment area.